Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an MSI gaming laptop. Let me show you the model number. If you turn your laptop around, at the back here, it says GS66 Stealth, okay? Or the MS-16V1. That is the model here. Um, I did make a separate video on the upgrade or the complete teardown. I'll try to link it up here at the end of the uh, the, the video. You're going to see that little um, box right there. Just click on the box and it will direct you to, to my second video that I do the complete teardown on, on the laptop. Here, we're going to do the screen replacement. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I like to do is to identify the laptop. So this is how the screen looks like. And as you can see that there's no screw holding down the bezel. So this bezel is actually double-sided adhesive on it. So what you want to do is you want to get your prying tool and go ahead and cut the double-sided tape. And try not to bend the bezel because um, they are very fragile. And once you bend the bezel, then you would have this ugly little bend look at it, right? So what we try to do is just to cut the double-sided tape. And you try to do your best you can. Do you have something that is like a hair dryer or a heat gun? Try to heat the bezel. So when you warm the bezel enough, then the double-sided tape would be a lot easier to be removed, yeah? So like a hair dryer or a heat gun, that would do. All right, once you have the this little plastic bezel is removed, let's put that on the side. We're going to reuse them later on. 
Now let's turn it around. You have to work on the LCD screen. Now the LCD screen here is also double-sided tape on it because I do not see any screw that is holding onto the screen. Okay, so in other words, we need to remove the tape. I don't see the tape nowhere. It looks like the screen was replaced before uh, by somebody else. I think it does look like it got replaced before in the past. Now, I apologize. I did not know that the screen was replaced before in the past. Uh, but for your case, you might have seen like a little rubber sticking out here on the top right corner. If you see that little black gooey stuff, the rubber on the top right or the top left, you should try to pull that out or maybe the one at the bottom here. So pretty much the screen is not screwed in or anything. It's actually a double-sided tape on. So if you flip it around, you can see that the, the tape is taping onto the side of the, the screen here, right? So once you remove that, then you can disconnect the LCD screen. First, you need to separate you need to separate oops i pulled too hard of it so you need to separate the tape once the tape is separated uh, you can flip open this little clipper so there's a one tiny clipper right here open it up and you can slide the cable away from you okay and turn it around and look for the model of the screen replacement so you probably need to look for lq156 m1 jw03 Okay, so what I'll do is I'll link um, all the tools in the description below where you can find the screen and the double-sided tape to re-tape it again. Now, assuming that the new screen comes in, you do need to have, let's just say the new screen just came in, you just have to do the reverse process by sliding in the cable first. So slide in your cable. Once the cable is in, you can press the little clipper to secure that connector and put the tape back down to re-tape it again. Now, this is the double-sided tape that I'll be using. Uh, go ahead and get the tape out. And what you want to do is you just want to tape it on the side of the screen like this, right? On both sides, you tape it here and here. Once you have the tape in, remove it and you can just stick it all the way back to the top okay once you have that new screen installed and re-taped down and what you want to do is to get um, a smaller a smaller double-sided tape here and re-tape the bezel back together okay so that's pretty much it that's the process of screen replacement on this is very straightforward i just do not have the new screen um, here with me and I know that my screen is, is broken, so I need a replacement. I just want to take it apart and check the, the product number, the screen number, uh, to make sure I order the right screen. So I'm not going to waste the tape and retape it again and take it back out again when the new screen comes in. I'm just going to leave it as this until the new screen comes in, then I'll, then I'll finish up my, my repair. That's for my case. But for your case, um, you can order the screen in advance if you want to and then follow along the video and get your screen repaired. I hope that this video is helpful. If you find, um, if you learned something today and, um, and do not forget to, to, to share your like, smash the like button, give me a like, 
uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't i would highly appreciate you for doing that um thanks for watching again and until next time bye now